Hello there. This video will demonstrate a possible way of solving for a patient who needs an insulin drip. Uh, we know that with insulin drips, that regular insulin will be the insulin we will use, and we will mix that with normal saline. And so that would be given as an IV piggyback. And let's say for this example that we have an order to infuse the patient with 0 0.1 units per kilogram per, per hour. So we have orders for regular insulin, 0 0.1 units per kilogram per hour. So with the kilogram in there, we know this is weight based, so we need to have a patient's weight. And in this case, we will say the patient's weight is 180 pounds. Also what we need is the insulin in the piggyback. So we're going to say for this example that we have 100 units of regular insulin mixed into 100 units of normal saline. Let me fix that here. 100 units in 100 mLs of normal saline. Okay, so we with this 100 units per 100 mLs, you also know that we are going to have a concentration of one unit per one mL. Okay, so I can either solve for mLs per hour or I can solve for units per hour. Let's go ahead and solve for units per hour. So I start bringing down my information that I have. I do know that I have 0 0.1 units per kilogram per hour. So at this point I already have what I'm looking for. But I do have a kilogram here that's left over and I need to cancel that out. So one kilogram is equal to 2.2 .2 pounds and my patient weighs 180 pounds. Now I'm able to cancel out and all that I'm left with are the units I'm looking for and then now my math. At this point, we have 8.18 units per hour infusion. Okay, and since we know that this is a one to one ratio, I can also then just say I have a 1.18 ml per hour infusion. Just to verify that through the formula, Let's go ahead and solve for mils per hour, okay? So now that I've solved the units per hour, I'll take this answer here, and I'll need that in order to solve for mils per hour. So mils per hour, I have 100 mLs in 100 units. So I already have my top descriptor, but I still need hours. So I bring the hours from up here into my problem. I now take the 8.18 units per hour, cancel out my units. At this point, I don't even need this little train track here because now I actually have only left what I'm looking for. And then I come here and I say 100 times 8.18 divided by 100, 8.18. I also know that I can just take and cross that out. I'm left with my 8.8, .8, bring it over here, and that tells me that my 8.18 mils per hour is the same as my 8.18 units per hour, which th confirms that I have this one-to-one -one solution.